The People's Democratic Party National Working Committee said they have accepted the voluntary resignation of its national chairman, Adamu Muazo. Addressing newsmen in Abuja after an emergency meeting of the party's NWC, National Secretary of the Party, Professor Wole Oladebo, said the deputy chairman of the party, Uche Secondus, will be on acting capacity pending when the party gets a replacement. The National Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party at its 399th meeting today, Wednesday, May 20, 2015, received and accepted the voluntary resignation of the National Chairman of our great party, His Excellency Alaji Amadu Adamu Muazu. Consequently, and in line with the provisions of Section 45.2 of the PDP Constitution, the Deputy National Chairman, Prince Uche Secondus, acts in place of the National Chairman pending a replacement from the Northeast Zone of our great country. On the correct position of the status of our revered leader, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the PDP, the National Working Committee will make its position public tomorrow, Thursday, May 21st, 2015. The National Working Committee called for calm and understanding of all members and other critical stakeholders, including the media, at this time of re-engineering process in our great party, while directing any member with genuine grievances to channel such through the appropriate organs. The NWC also commended the National Publicity Secretary, Olisa Meto, for his role in managing the publicity of the party. From Abuja, LM Chukwemeka reports. National lawyer and a former Nigerian lawmaker, Prince Ned Nwoko, has said that the Supreme Court progressed in error by entertaining an ex parte application by the executive arm of government to stop the process of amending the 1999 constitution by the legislative arm of government. Prince Ned Nwoko, who spoke to Ben Television in an exclusive interview in Abuja, said it is unheard of anywhere in the world that one arm of government is preventing the other arm of carrying out its constitutional duties. Well, it is very unfortunate uh, that um, the uh, executive arm of government went to court on a matter that ought not to have been. In um, any constitutional democracy like ours, the functions of the arms of government are de defined. One arm makes the laws for the good governance of the country. The other arm executes the laws, and then the other arm interprets the laws. It is unheard of. From all my exposure abroad, that the courts could seek to stop a process of lawmaking. What they are doing is lawmaking. And until they make a law, whether by assent or by exercise of veto power, there is nothing to challenge before the courts. But you must wait for the lawmakers. You must wait for them to complete the process of their lawmaking functions. After that, when it becomes an act and you are a busybody or you have an interest in any particular provision in that particular act, then you can seek some kind of interpretation. On the judicial system in the country, Ned Nwoko said that more needs to be done in the areas of reform as the time it takes to give judgment in most cases are far too long. The judiciary in Nigeria needs to be overhauled entirely. It needs to be systematically uh, you know, refocused and repositioned. Um, the time that it takes, for instance, for matters to commence from commencement to conclusion is absurd. It is tragic, to say the least, that a matter could be in court for 10 years or 15 years simply because some lawyers who don't have any other thing to do uh, keep making frivolous applications and their 
listened to by the courts. In UK, judges are very definitive. If you if they feel that there is no legal basis for uh, for an application, they will penalise you with costs, huge costs. You as a lawyer personally, and possibly your your firm as well. And when that is done, when you pay costs two times, three times, you wouldn't. And when a, when a client tells you to go and do something, you say sorry, I can't do it. Not not just because of the cost issue, but because of the issue of uh, um, your integrity. Because as time went on, or as time goes on, the law society or the bar council will take note of your frequent abuse of processes in, in court and they will come hard on you. Where judges sit in court and take notes, it's a, in this day and age, shouldn't be, there should be automatic transcription of proceedings so the judge can look at you as a witness and make up his mind about what you're saying. Judges hardly look at you because they're busy writing long hands. Speaking on the expectations of Nigerians concerning the incoming administration, Mwoko said that since the APC have a manifesto that contains their programs and priorities, Nigerians will judge them by their manifestos, which is supposed to bring about the much-needed change in Nigeria. He therefore used the medium to call on General Muhammadu Buhari to take Nigeria as one entity rather than people divided by political affinity. From Abuja, I am Festus Ejirog and Nefifen for Bay Television. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Olusegun Aganga, has said that over the past three years, $20 billion came into the country through foreign direct investment. The Minister stated this at the public presentation of the National Policy on Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises and the unveiling of the 2013 National Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Survey result in Abuja. Aganga added that increased FDI has led to increased opportunities for local, micro, small and medium enterprises as these businesses are a critical component of the value chain. Earlier, the Director General of the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria, Smedan, Bature Masari, disclosed that 340,560 new jobs have been provided through the National Enterprises Development Program platform. The agency, in collaboration with the National Bureau of Statistics, conducted the first ever National MSME survey in 2010 where we found out that there are 17.3 million micro, small and medium enterprises employing about 32.4 million persons and contributing about 46.54% to GDP in nominal terms. According to the 2013 National Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Survey, 
59.7 million people are presently employed and of that figure 89 percent are employed by micro small and medium enterprises awesome raffle bental vision abuja nigeria The Nigerian Football Federation has challenged the African champions, Super Falcons, to surpass their previous World Cup mark in Canada. Minutes before the team's departure from Abuja for Canada, the NFF president Amaju Pinik urged the girls to do better than any of their predecessors have ever done. Speaking on behalf of the NFF president, the chairman of the NFF Women's Football Committee, Dilichuku Onyedimar, said the present Super Falcons have the ability and capacity to go all the way. The Super Falcons play Sweden, Australia and USA in Group D of the 7th FIFA Women's World Cup Finals. Their first match comes up against the Swedes in Winnipeg on June 8th. Both teams also played against each other in their opener to the 2007 FIFA Women's World Cup in China, battling to a 1-1 draw in the Chengdu.